Hey hackers, welcome to The Commit. I'm here this week with Parker, the founder of Interview Cake. How's it going? I've brought you on here to talk about coding interviews, which I strongly suspect are a thing that most people don't actually like. That's right, yeah, so Interview Cake is a study tool for software engineers to prepare for coding interviews. Help me understand, like, what is a coding interview? It's pretty different from your average interview. Um, there isn't a lot, when you're interviewing for a software engineering role, mm -hmm. there doesn't tend to be a lot of, um, you know, tell me about uh, your greatest weakness or a time that you had to work with a team or something like that. Um, instead, it's a lot more case studies. There's often a lot of time spent on data structures and algorithms. Mm -hmm. So you'll be using big O notation to talk about the time cost and the space cost of the code that you're writing and you'll work with your interviewer on coming up with different optimizations. I'm already pretty intimidated by that description, but help me understand in terms of how hard is it to pass these things? As someone who's kind of maybe early in their career or perhaps kind of up for their first big software dev like job, but maybe they don't have tons of experience or maybe they haven't like used some of these kind of big O notation concepts or yeah. maybe even they didn't study CS. Like, is this stuff passable for the average programmer? Yeah, good question. I think that just being a good software engineer, just knowing how to build a web application or whatever your expertise is, um, uh, for better or for worse, often doesn't make you good inherently at the coding interview. If you do devote the time to studying directly for the coding interview, it's actually very learnable. And it's more learnable than people think. Right? Okay. It's, as you point out, it's very intimidating at first. It feels like... I've heard horror stories of whiteboarding in Google offices for hour after hour. Yeah, and, and it's, um, you know, I, I won't lie, it's, uh, uh, you know, if you're interviewing at Google, it, it can feel kind of intense. You don't have to be a math person to learn how to do it. And that's a big part of why I started Interview Cake, is, is because the people who were teaching this stuff were, were teaching the way that people usually teach math, right? Mm -hmm. Um, which is very textbooky, very theoretical, lots of proofs. And what we do on Interview Cake is we teach you uh, the right way of thinking and the right intuitions so that you can understand, um, okay, here's a logarithm, here's how it works. But more importantly, here are the contexts in which it comes up in programming. The question that you get at, in your Google interview has more to do with which um, interviewer, so which engineer on the Google team was assigned randomly to interview you, right, than it does the fact that the interview is at Google as opposed to Facebook or Microsoft or Amazon. How language specific are many of these questions? So if I'm interviewing somewhere as a Ruby dev, like uh, should I be expected to answer a lot of questions in Ruby or do you think that it might be more theoretical? Yeah, it, it depends on the company um, and uh, in particular, in general, Smaller companies will tend to favor the language-specific trivia more, um, whereas bigger companies will tend to favor the data structures and algorithm stuff more. Uh, my advice is to definitely cover the language-specific stuff um, because, in my opinion, it's, it's not all that hard, right? I mean, you already know how to program in Ruby. Mm -hmm. You probably know uh, what are the small number of things that have kind of come up in uh, interviews or in talking with other people. What are the top things that people should be doing to kind of prepare for these interviews? Yeah, the, the biggest thing is practice. The majority of questions are about uh, string manipulation and arrays. Um, right. So I, I always recommend to people that they focus uh, at least the beginning of their preparation around that stuff mm -hmm. um, because it'll give you a solid foundation for answering other questions um, and also because you'll be covered for most questions. Perhaps I did my preparation fairly well, but any advice for what I should do if I'm in an interview and I don't know the answer? Something comes up that's a blind spot for me. I, I don't know it. Yeah. What should I do in those circumstances? Yeah, good question. Be honest. That's my, that's my advice. Uh, if you don't know the answer, say you don't know. Those moments of hitting a wall, I think, could be very uh, demoralizing at, at first mm -hmm. until you realize that, like, really, that is kind of the point of the interview, I think, for a lot of interviewers. Excellent. Well, Parker, thanks so much for coming on the show. Check out the discount code, check out Interview Cake, and hopefully your next coding interview is going to go way better. Mm -hmm.